the contain was broken. That was pretty much it for them. I mean, so what does Shinya and Master Stealth have to do now? Do they, are, they, are we still going to see contain play for them? Or are they going to um, have to try something well, else? If they will try that, they may think they may try uh, and think of something against uh, something like owls. Uh, so maybe snakes, uh, either in either replacing ferrets or adding to them. I think toads um, would be a great boon if they were decide to go toads. But looks like they may be sticking to contain push. Shinyu believes in it. He's gonna be going with the same exact loadout. Just. I'm worried because they because they're focused so much on the, the structure play. They don't they don't really do enough aggression against Chu and Moon to prevent them from doing tier threes. Yeah, I mean it's kind of one of the things that when you contain, you have to focus on defending uh, the key points while you build your defensive structures there, and balancing that with scouting and. Uh, offensive play is pretty difficult. I mean, are we just going to see the same thing come up from Chua Moon again? Are they just going to be allowed to econ up and get their tier 3s out and just change the battlefield? Uh, well, unless there's a pretty dramatic uh, change in the way Jin and Master play, then that's probably the case. Alright, here we go. Oh my gosh, Master Stuff is thinking about the moles. He's like, mm. I really want to do a mole rush right now. I want to get on the board. Please, Shinya, let me do the mole rush. Yeah, I'm curious if Moss is going to try to do a sort of weaker mole rush while uh, Shin builds, goes with more uh, regular uh, build order. Uh, I'm really not sure at this point. Chu and Moon are, not, are going for pretty I've similar builds to last game's though. They really don't really care at the mole rush about this point, and they are, you know, they usually prepare for it. They get their early warns down and chew. He's gonna be switching up a little bit. He changes out his tier threes and gonna go straight into the chameleons and snakes instead. So more tier two utility on his side. It looks like. It looks like a Lacante draft, actually, if you think about it. Uh, I kind of wish we see some of those, some of that chameleon action, though. We haven't really gotten that, and. They got uh, some changes in last patch too, which I think yeah, are I pretty interesting. Gotta get that drum beats going for the chameleons, man. The buffed attack speed, come on, here we go. Give them something to hit. Get them on the field. We want to see some chameleon action here. And Moon, he's going to be rethinking his own strategy, it looks like. He's deciding, like, you know what, maybe we change it up a little bit. Master Cell does change out his ferrets for for snakes, so he saw the, how much how badly he was killed by the falcons. So he's gonna be trading out for something that can damage falcons pretty nicely. Yeah. So snakes. We'll see how the new snake uh, demo works against the oh, falcons. Moon. Oh, moon! Oh, <laughs> moon! Look at Moon's runes! <laughs> oh my okay. gosh, he's he's doing it! <laughs> he's gonna try. They're gonna do it! Double owl structures! I don't know okay. what this is. <laughs> I. I am oh, the two game. <laughs> game number three, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. All right, in the south side, we have your win 2 0 so far. Moo Moo situated on the south side of the map. Meanwhile, in the north side of the map, we have Shin Yu and Master Stealth representing Cheese. Ooh, okay, what's so. going on here? What this map again? What's with the water maps in these grand finals? Oh, I don't know. It's interesting though. Uh, there's uh, there's an attack path down the middle. There's an, an attack path to via east and uh, one via west. This is in a way like sort of a MOBA map, kind of sort of. -ish. I know. It looks like I'm watching League of Legends. <laughs> it does. The way the map is laid out, this is quite hilarious. The, the mill position is so weird. It's like all in the outskirts of the map. I mean, mm -hmm. they have easy expansions yeah. to go for, but it's really in an awkward position to take them. Yeah, so some expansions uh, accessible for Shu, uh, for Chu and Moon. Um, 
couple for G and Master. I mean, they could take the expansion, the high ground there, and just have a lot of space for whatever. I'll... Yeah, not really sure. All right. Well, in the meantime, both sides gonna just put their units onto the field right now. Squirrels and moles. Squirrels and moles. Although Chew and Moon, they're gonna go for the double lizard play. Just gonna get that aggressive lizard action here on the field. Meanwhile, Mastinio Master going for the squirrels. So it's gonna be squirrels versus lizards. That sounds like a good title of a movie. Watch. Squirrels versus lizards. Although squirrels, lizards probably win. <laughs> I mean, again, if the squirrel ball gets big enough, they can take down the lizards pretty fast, but, it, you know, that's like usually later in the game when you have enough farm for the squirrels. What is Master Stealth doing? He is waiting on the front lines. Oh, okay, so he's just waiting to get the money to build a machine gun nest. So just reinforcing his position a little bit, trying to protect that expansion that he can possibly take. So, again, we could be in for the long haul, and Moon is putting his... Oh, he's suspecting some cheesy play here, so he's putting his machine gun nest to the west of Chu's base, just in case they decide oh, to try okay. to attack from that side. So, nice forward thinking from Moon, but let's see if it pays out in the end, as he loses his life to the squirrels and machine gun nests of the other side. Ooh, yeah, Falcon. I mean... What? Chu going for double Falcons now. So early. Yeah, and, and while Moon, Moon is going... going for the Owl. Okay. Uh... So Master Stealth going to go straight into Snakes as well, but... Here we go, we might have a bit of an engagement here. Shin is going to be marching his army down the middle along with Master Stealth, and now both Shu and Moon seem they can try to fend this one off, but in terms of raw numbers, they are a little bit outnumbered. Here they go, marching their way down, trying to yeah. attack Moon's base here, Ooh. trying to whittle down his farm. One farm is going to be taken out. Can they tackle anything out? They do take out a huge chunk of the army. Moon has nothing to defend his base. His machine gun nests are on the other side of the map, and now he can't defend his own base. He needs to get Shu here in order to... Fend them all with the Falcons, but three farms already down for him. Four farms now down. Four. And, and this time, the mill. the mill is Come so on, close to mill. death right now. They want to tag it, but Chu is reinforcing right now. Although he doesn't have that many units in just yeah, not enough numbers. And the best right snake now. is coming out. Master Stealth is tagging it with oh. the snake poison. Oh, let's see. Okay, Shinyu now just dipping in and out. Masters are trying to get a good sight, but he has to be a little bit careful. Moon has reinforced his entire army now. He has a ton of lizards, but not enough to actually defend against it. He's out! Moon is out of here! Chu is on his own right now, and he doesn't have enough units this time. And Shinyu and Masters are marching their way down into the base right now with their army here. Oh, they yeah. went too greedy in this one this time, and here Shinyu and Masters still didn't go for the contained play. Instead, they just went for a normal build time, and took advantage of the greed from Moo Moo. Here we go, game yeah. number four, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go to a game number four. So definitely getting uh, those tier ones and some tiers two there helped a lot, whereas uh, Chu and Moon had to wait, had to, uh, yeah, had to wait to get resources for their tier threes. Uh, they, those didn't get out, uh, and so they were exposed kind of to Jean and Master. Oh, man. So, 